This video will cover the topic, word problem involving optimizing area by using a quadratic function. We are going to be working with the problem below. In this problem, we are given 120 meters of fencing and a rectangular field that only has three sides of it covered with that fencing. In section A of the problem, we are asked to find a function that gives the area of the field in terms of x. We can find the area of the rectangular field by using the rectangular area formula, by multiplying the length and the width of the rectangular field. But what variable do we use for length? We know that the width here is x, however since we are not given a variable for the length, in this case we can temporarily give the side a name with our own variable. For the length, let's give it the variable z. This would make the area of this rectangular field equal to x times z. So does that mean that the answer is x times z? Not yet, we can't stop there. We cannot put that as an answer because z was not defined as a given variable in the question. We still need to solve for z in terms of x using other given information from the problem. We were given that there is 120 meters of fencing available and it's only covering two sides and one length, giving us the equation 2x plus z equals 120. This can also be read as two widths and one length are equal to 120 meters of fencing. Now we can solve for z and substitute the resulting expression into our area equation zx to leave us with our given and known variable x for an answer. So z would be equal to 120 minus 2x, which we can then substitute into the area equation x times z, giving us an area of x times 120 minus 2x, which can also be written as 120x minus 2x squared. If we were to graph the equation 120x minus 2x squared, we would get a parabola. And to find the highest point of a parabola, we need to solve for its vertex. How do we know that the equation is going to be a parabola? 120x minus 2x squared is a quadratic function, and all quadratic functions appear on graphs as parabolas. Looking at the second part of the problem, we are asked to find the side length x that gives us the maximum area that this field can have. In order to do so, we will find the vertex of the quadratic function. The equation for finding a vertex is negative b over 2a. b in this case is the number next to x, 120, and a will be the number next to x squared, which is negative 2, which gives us negative 120 divided by negative 4, which equals 30. For the third and final part of the problem, we need to find the maximum area that the field can have. In order to do so, we will plug in 30, which is the side length of x that gives us the maximum area, into the area equation. 120 multiplied by 30 is equal to 3600, and 2 multiplied by 30 squared is equal to 1800. After subtracting 1800 from 3600, we get our result 1800, which is our maximum area. Okay, let me get this straight. First, we assign a variable to represent length in the area equation. Next, using the information given to us in the problem, we write a second equation in terms of the defined variable and substitute this into the area equation. Then to find the value of x that would give us the maximum area, we use the equation negative b over 2a, or the vertex equation, and substitute this into our area equation, which will allow us to find the largest area possible for the rectangular space. That is correct. 